I will go through uh, how to solve this frame using Lisa analysis. Uh, we are given a frame uh, and distributed load as shown. The first one, 3.75 in X direction, positive X. Uh, the second one, 2.5 suction uh, in X direction. This one is perpendicular to the inclined member, 0.8. This one is suction to the inclined member, 3.5. I will assume the cross section of this member is W shape. I will select any. Uh, first step, I will locate the origin. I will put X and Y uh, coordinate. So the first point will be at zero and zero. The next point will be at zero and four. The following point, which is pin connection or hinge connection, it will be at 3.5 and the six. This point will be at seven and four. The last point will be at seven and zero. Let's start to see how to use Reza to analyze the shown frame. I will open the uh, software. Keep in your mind the units for this frame in meter and the kilonewton. So the first step I will go through units and use standard metric. That means all lenses will be in meter, all applied forces will be in kilo newton. If you would like to hide the showing grid from view, drawing grid, insert, joint, first point will be at zero, zero. The second point will be at zero in X and the four in Y. The next point will be at 3.5 in X and the six in Y. The following point will be at seven in X and four in Y. The last point will be at seven in X and zero in Y. Here you go. From in, uh, insert members, I will assume I have hot rolled cross section W shape. We can assume W eight by 10, that's fine. Any cross section, it doesn't matter. Apply from this point to this point to this point to this point, to this point. Keep in your mind, right now, we have a, a big mistake that this connection is not pin connection so far. So how can I solve this issue? After you, are, after you draw your members, I will select all of them except this member. Remember, this member, this one, this node is the start node, this one is the end node. So I will go modify, uh, members and we have here a start no change the start will be no change fully fix it use it the end will be pin so i will modify this member the end selected member apply here you go i changed this member to be released from the end that means i have here pin connection between the two members that's enough. You don't need to do the same for the next member. No need. But if you would like, that's fine. Let's repeat this process one more time. I will select all members except the member you are looking for. I will go through modify members. Remember, this member, I draw it from this point or this node to this node. That's mean this is the start and here is the end. So I will pin the start and fully fix, fix, uh, fully fix it for the end. Apply, here you go. So that means you did the same for this member. I released the moment at the start and still fix it at the end. One more time, one of them, one of these two members is enough. You don't need to do the same for both of them. Does that make sense? So one of them is enough. Remember, we have here hinge support. We have here hinge. So mode insert boundaries. I will select pin connection or I'm sorry, pin support. Here you go at this node and this node. We have this uniform distributed loop 3.75 in the positive X direction. So insert distributed loop in X, capital X direction, capital X, the value is 3.75 kilonewton per meter. 
at the start to the end. And I will assume it 100%. You can enter the full length of the member or percentage. So I will assume 100% means the full length. And they click here. Here you go. I will do the same for the next member, this one, in X direction, positive X direction, but the value is 2.5. So insert distributed load 2.5, apply, I can click this member. Remember, this load is perpendicular to the inclined member. It's not an X, it's not an Y. So what is the direction of this load? Insert distributed load. I will select here small y. Remember, we have capital Y, which is vertical. We have a small y, which is perpendicular to the member. What is whatever the direction of the member? And the value will be negative 0 0.8. Negative 0 0.8. Uh, start to point is zero. Full length, 100%, because I don't know what is the length of this inclined member. Just a click, here you go. So this distributed load is perpendicular to the inclined member. One more time, insert distributed load in Y direction, small Y direction. Small Y direction means perpendicular to the member. The value of the distributed load here will be positive 3.5, 3.5. Apply, just to click on this member, here you go. Uh, spread sheet, I will go to load combination. I will define basic load combination number one. And the scale factor will be one. Go ahead and solve. We are done. If you would like to hide the applied load, you can push this little icon. You can push it one more time to show the uh, applied load one more time. So I will go through reactions first. In X direction, we have these reactions, 19.4 kilonewton, 14.2 kilonewton. Vertical reaction, we have one downward and we the other one upward. We don't have moment because we don't have fixed support. I will show the axial force. I will show the shear force. I will show up the bending moment. Keep in your mind, your pin connection here has zero moment. That makes sense. At this connection, we don't have moment because you are defined it as a released node or released end. So the, the value of the applied moment or the bending moment will be zero at this point. That makes sense. If you would like to hide the internal force, none. If you'd like to hide the reactions, none. If you'd like to show up the applied force, that one. If you would like to show up the deformed shape, but it's very big, I don't recommend this because we didn't define the correct cross section. We are looking only for the internal forces, reactions, and axial force, shear force, and the bending moment diagram. Uh, these internal forces for determinate structure, it doesn't matter what is the cross-section. 